My name is uh, Jacob Boersma. I am, uh, uh, work in the blockchain team at uh, Deloitte. Uh, my colleague is also on this slide, uh, but in the interest of time, we decided to do uh, just the uh, one speaker. Uh, is Jan Willem Santing, and he's from the uh, from the uh, real estate uh, team at Deloitte. And uh, we at Deloitte, we believe that you cannot do blockchain by yourself you need to do it in partnerships and we do that internally because we have uh, my team who actually has the blockchain developers but also the real estate team who have the knowledge of this uh, actual industry but also of course we need people from the legal side uh, and the tax side uh, it, it is not something that is purely a technology solution and we do also this not just by ourselves. We, uh, we did this uh, project for the city of Rotterdam uh, as part also of the uh, um, Roadmap Next Economy. And we did it at the Cambridge Innovation Center in Rotterdam because that is a very nice kind of a uh, testing ground for these kinds of solutions. Uh, they, they rent uh, out uh, office spaces to, start, to tech startups. Uh, so it already uh, that is a, an audience of, of potential users who are very familiar with blockchain concepts and also ready to experiment with, with new kind of uh, solutions. And also who really want to have a more flexible way for example, to have lease agreements, to create a lease agreement basically as easy as you order a pizza online. So the real estate market, why did we choose that as a, uh, as a place to, uh, to uh, build a blockchain solution? Because real estate is a really, really complex uh, and old-fashioned even uh, industry. There's a lot of intransparency, there's a lot of data being transferred between lots of different parties, and also lots of different parties repeatedly checking all that data, validating again and again that uh, what the latest version of all kinds of lease contracts is, uh, how many uh, square feet uh, there are in a building, uh, who is actually the owner, uh, and that, that is continuously a question being asked uh, from owners. Uh, investors need to be able to, to, to check that. Uh, assessors spend uh, almost 40% of their time uh, checking documents which actually should be just open information because they don't trust each other. And blockchain uh, can be a uh, solution for that by, by providing this single source of truth. And we put the, the buildings, the actual assets, uh, center stage, uh, because that is the, 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 the thing that is, that is unchanging uh, for the most part. And uh, everything else just revolves around that. The ownership can change, the, the, the tenants can change, uh, the, the financing from, from, from different banks can change, auditors come and go, uh, but the building is, is a constant. Um, and around that, we build a lot of different, um, uh, uh, basically a stack of, of different uh, functionalities on top of that. So you need to be able to identify the, the, the object itself, of course, be able to transfer the ownership, uh, the sign lease agreements, which, which are based uh, on that building, but which, which don't automatically break when the, when the building changes owners. Uh, you, your lease agreements also have a payment component, of course, so you can do payments monitoring to see whether or not somebody is actually a trustworthy uh, 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 lease uh, partner um, and uh, all that information can be very easily uh, shared and, and prov is provably right by, because you have the, the, the cryptographic fingerprints on the blockchain. Uh, and this, of course, is, is a first step, and you can all uh, can build out on that because we believe that you need to do this as an open platform. Uh, it's not just one party that builds these kind of applications, but everybody can, can integrate their own existing or, or new applications onto this platform. So... We, uh, we come to the, to the demo, of course. Uh, there's a lot of parts of this uh, uh, application, but I've, uh, I've limited it uh, to, to showing you the, the creation of a lease agreement. We've already created uh, 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 the building. Uh, and that, of course, would be something that you would need to uh, sign, have signed off by something like a cadaster in the Netherlands. Um, but now this is the view that I have the, as the owner of the building, in this case, the, the Groot Handelsgebouw in Rotterdam, where the Cambridge Innovation Center is located. And uh, uh, I can see all the information here, and also that it is actually registered, in this case, in the, in the, the local instance of, uh, of the blockchain where we have it. 
that all this this data is not uh, cannot be manipulated without uh, yeah third parties being seeing that. Um, I've already created a, a contract to, 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 to speed this up, but, but I could create a new lease agreement from, from scratch. But let's, uh, let's edit one that's already there. Um, and uh, this is a templated, so we have many different templates. Uh, ROZ, the ROZ contract is a, a very a much used standard already in, uh, in uh, commercial real estate in the Netherlands, so we, uh, we use that, but there's also uh, ways to do it uh, in any other uh, template that you that you would want and i've also already selected uh, the address of uh, the the tenant that i'm going to send it to so i've already filled out uh, a lot of the information many of this is is as i say uh, a standard template but um, uh, I've, uh, you see that uh, jan willem will be here the the uh, the actual owner of the building uh, i am the tenant uh, we've put uh, some the pricing information in here i can um, I can add maybe some, uh, some uh, maybe change the price uh, if we if we negotiate on that, and it automatically uh, uh, calculates it. Uh, yeah, I'm a bad negotiator, so the price goes up. <laughs> um, so then I, um, I want to say, uh, up until this point, uh, nothing has actually been put on the blockchain. This, this all happens in my own personal uh, uh, view as, a, as an owner of a building. Now, when I actually want to propose this to a tenant, then it goes onto the blockchain. So I need to check it one last time, and then I sign it digitally, and uh, the request is uh, also sent to the tenant, but also the the digital uh, signature and the, uh, and the the hash of the entire uh, of all the details of the contract is put on the blockchain. Um, now, as a tenant, I would need to wait uh, until it is actually mined into a block, because this is going on a public blockchain, because we want the absolute immutability of this information. So, uh, rather than having us wait around. Uh, we have a, a, this is a mining view where we can just uh, by hand mine a few extra blocks, uh, which is nice, right? So in my view as an owner, I now see that rather than initialized, it is now proposed, but it is still only signed by by one person. So we switch to the this is the view of the um, of the tenant, and he sees that this contract has been proposed to him. And now he can choose to accept or decline it. He can check all the details again, of course, and he sees that all these details are validated because it is actually in this block, which is, has a status of confirmed. Uh, if this were an actual public blockchain, you would be able to have a timestamp here rather than merely a block height. So it's, al it's always visible when this all has happened. Um, and I also need to here declare that this data is also allowed to be shared with third parties, because that is actually the proof of the pudding. The, the whole point of putting this information, the, putting the, the validation of this information on the blockchain, is so that auditors, banks, assessors will be able to be granted in, uh, access to this validated information. So I need to uh, sign off on that as well. So now I sign and acknowledge. Uh, again, we need to wait until that is actually mined into a block, so let's do that. And then, as a tenant, I now see that the contract is accepted. And just to show, as a, as a building owner, also I now see contract is accepted. So, and so far this, uh, this brief demo, there's of course a lot more to it, but, uh, but we'll keep it uh, uh, as that. Can we go back to the presentation? Yes. So we've actually created a protocol on top of um, uh, the blockchain because we want to have this available as a standard for doing any kinds of uh, real estate transactions. And as you see, this is actually what is put in the blockchain. Maybe I can... Uh, a little bit, little bit larger. 
the, the information put on the blockchain is minimal and it is hashed. So it is, you only need to have the cryptographic proof that something uh, is uh, valid. You don't want to have all the details of all your commercial real estate on the blockchain. You want to exchange that still in, in the normal way that you would ordinarily do. But you have the absolute proof that uh, on the blockchain you can check that it has not been uh, changed in any way, that you have the latest version, that you have the complete set, of course, of all the uh, lease agreements, for example, for a building. And in that way, it enables a lot of new uh, trust and new possibilities in real estate. Thank you very much.